What's up, autograph addicts? This is, wait, that's not my tagline. Nah, let's go with it. What's up, autograph addicts? That's actually Ace's tagline, if you guys remember Ace. But hey, everybody, it's Troy Rudder from TTMAutograph.com, and I have a video for you today. This is kind of a catch up video from um, Friday after Thanksgiving, Saturday, um, pretty much the last three days, three or four days. So, Still got a lot of stuff here, so let's go right into it, and then we'll we'll chat after the after the successes. So here we go. Let's go right into it. Got a kind of a big stack here for you. So first, coming in at 17 days, uh, a lot of these this week are from that uh, older football packs that I mentioned uh, a couple weeks ago that I just picked up at Burbank Sports Cards. So some classic players, and then a, a hit or two from some current players. So. Let's check that out. So coming in at 17 days, this is a boom classic card. This is a score card from Mr. Tim Harris. This is a Packers card, Crunch Crew. Uh, I think it's a 1990 score. Yep, right there. And like I said, there's a lot of these cards that I have and this is no exception with this very next one, Jerry Olsofsky, sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, <laughs> this is a Steelers card. This came back in 17 days. Blue signature there. Again, a this 1990 score. So very happy with that. And pretty much all of these came in at about 17 or 18 days of those cards. So I'm gonna go through the pack here and I guess this is the last one. Really, I thought I had a couple more. Uh, I might be missing one, so we'll just keep going here. Sorry about that. Eugene Lockhart from the Dallas Cowboys. This came in also at 17 days. Eugene Lockhart, Cowboys, another scorecard. Also in 17 days, but not exactly a uh, classic card. I guess it's a 2013 card, but uh, here we go. Donnell Ellerby, Miami Dolphins. Again, this came in at 17 days. Next, we have Darren Smith. Darren Smith. This came back in 31 days. Cincinnati Bengals rookie card on a 2015 Panini. Looks like a pretty solid signature, no streaks or anything. And then the final football card, I guess, uh, this came back in 397 days and I kind of posted the picture, not a good picture, but a picture of it coming in on Instagram and everybody was like, where, where, where do you, where'd you send, what? And for NFL current players, I am, actually 100% stadium so far. Like I never send to private addies uh, on, for NFL players. I just don't do it, except if they're retired. So if you see a current NFL success, it may not be the address on the card because they switched teams, but it's pretty much, oh, you just saw it. Uh, it's pretty much always stadium addresses. At least it's always stadium addresses so far. So here is the return, 397 days. Dominic Rogers Cromartie. Again, this came back in 397 days. I kind of knew it was a longer return because the do not bend stamp that I used, I got rid of that about a year ago. So I must have sent this right when I moved to LA. Kind of a, you can't, if you, it takes a little bit to see the signature, it's along the left, um, but definitely a great return there. And finally, did I say finally already? I forgot about this one. This was an interesting return. Uh, I thought this was a Christmas card from Peter Gastis, but it wasn't. Uh, it's their own writing on it. They wrote, do not bend, and it's a Thanksgiving card. And then I opened it up and it's two signature, well, first it's my return envelope unused, which was interesting. And then it's the two cards I sent, plus another one inside, 
This, these are from Cody Latimer of the Denver Broncos. So there's number one. Uh, it's kind of streaky because it's a Topps Platinum card and a paint pen, but you can see it there. And number two, uh, still a paint pen, but uh, looks a little bit nicer on this prestige card, uh, Panini. So an interesting return from Mr. Cody Latimer. Uh, was not expecting that at all. Uh, I also got a request for a donation from the Gary Sinise Foundation since I donated last year. Just slide that over there. And finally this week, I actually withdrew a lot of my cards from uh, COMC. They just, uh, I was selling a few and I made enough basically to get my cards back and pay all the fees. So uh, I guess that was good, but I had a, a few dollars left over. So I picked up some, uh, just some fun cards. W. Morgan Shepard from a Star Trek The Next Generation card. He was also on Babylon 5, so I thought that was kind of neat. I got uh, this card right here. This is Joshua Harris as Timothy in Hero Worship. I think this is the one where he uh, wants to Im not impersonate, but emulate data. And then I got uh, someone that I know, <laughs> uh, Blake Bashoff from Lost, just because uh, it's cool to have a card from someone you know. <clears throat> And then I had enough left over and I got a Jose Canseco uh, Golden Graphs card, 13 of 15. And it's a kind of a thick card. And it just, I don't know why, I was just looking for something baseball related that I could get and have it sent back to me cheaply to use up some of my credit. So there you go guys, uh, that is my Wednesday report. Uh, just a couple of notes. The new article is up on MikeTheFanboy.com for TTM Tuesday. These are mainly entertainment signers, so it may not interest you uh, if you're only into cards. And speaking of which, like I said, in 2016, I'm going to be doing a lot more entertainment, so be ready for that. Uh, see how that goes. I still have 1,000 plus pending cards out there in the wild just from 2016, so I'm sure those will come back. And it'll just make a nice mix of entertainment and sports. And uh, the book is doing well. Thank you, everybody who has purchased a copy of the book. It, there's still time to get it before Christmas. So if you want to get it for yourself, a friend, a family member, or ask someone else for it, you can find it on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. If you want a signed copy, those are only available on eBay. So just search for my name or autograph collecting secrets and it'll come up. So. Anyway, um, I'm really fighting this cough thing, so I'm going to let you go. I uh, hope everybody has a great day and a giant mail day, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.